New at 5, we learned a single bullet to the chin took the life of a St. Louis County police officer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kay Quinn. That evidence, part of today's emotional testimony that left Blake Snyder's family in tears. Officer Snyder was killed in the line of duty in October of 2016. The man accused of shooting him, Trenton Forster, is charged with first degree murder. Our Brandon Murano has been there for every moment of this week's trial. He's live in Clayton now with a closer look at day two. Brandon. Okay, Snyder's family cried and hugged in the courtroom today as they saw graphic images of the injuries that killed Snyder back in 2016. Now I can't show you what happened inside the courtroom because they don't allow cameras or phones inside, but I can try to give you an idea of how it felt inside the courtroom on day two. Three witnesses took the stand before lunch, a retired St. Louis County police detective, a firearms expert, and the doctor who examined Officer Blake Snyder's body. Prosecutors showed graphic pictures of Snyder's gunshot wound. That's when his family burst into tears. The accused killer, Trenton Forster, had his head down most of the morning, but he looked up at those pictures and then slouched down in his chair. That wasn't the only time Forster reacted to evidence. When the retired county detective was on the stand, he showed pictures of the bullet-riddled car, and for the first time since the trial began, Forster turned and looked at Snyder's family. Then the firearms expert, who was on the stand the longest. That firearm expert confirmed a couple big things. One, that Officer Snyder never fired a shot from his department issued weapon and that another officer, the other officer that was on the scene was the one who shot Forster, sending him to the hospital. Now coming up at six o'clock, just about an hour and a half ago, a couple tweets, text messages presented by the prosecution and the defense from Forrester. That's all coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Clayton, Brandon Morano, 5 on your side. All right, thank you, Brandon.